out the mystic Hilda that rains into my house. This is weird. I have already five helpers and they are all the same. But this helper is different. I'm waiting what he, what he, she is going to share about what he knows. I'm excited. And then you just finish your 10 contract and you did not even tell a story. You did not even tell a testimony. Cynthia Hala always testified, Pastor Plaza, my employer asked me to pray because he believed God. Cynthia, pray, pray, pray. Because her employer saw that we are a believer of God. There are so many Chinese employers that you have that ask you to pray, actually. They don't believe God, they don't believe something like that, but just because of what they saw, I remember a sister in Discovery Bay uh, who, who, who went for good already. She came from uh, Singapore. Praise God. There was a time he, her employer are atheists. They don't believe God. And Sister Dalia is a believer filled with the Spirit. Huh? And her employer don't believe God. And because they observe her attitude, her behavior, and the employer said, you have no church in this family, you have no place. You can use our basement, use our, use our house for your people. How many years we use their house as a worship place? They were atheists who offer a place to worship our God. Jerusalem unto Gaza. 
This is the Gaza that there is a war against Hamas and Israel. This is the right place, Gaza. Uh, which is desert. Gaza people was just a desert. Now it's full of buildings, but no trees. Hallelujah. And what happened, Pastor Plaza? Philip said, okay, yes, I go to the south, toward the road, going to Gaza. And he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority. This is a very powerful man, influential man. Great authority under Gandasi, queen of Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure. Like Bill Gates, so rich. And had come to Jerusalem for the worship. Wow! A worshiper? A eunuch who is very rich, a worshiper? Yeah. You can be rich and still a worshiper? Hello. Oh, it is not sin to get rich. Yeah. What is sin is when you love money yeah. because that is the root of all evil. Yeah. Amen. Hello. Amen. So who wants to be rich? Amen. So those who say amen from their heart, the Lord will bless you. Yung nakiinin, bahala na si Lord mahal. So he was a rich man, influential, great authority, or should I say like a, a politician because he was connected to the monarchy, the queen, Candace of Ethiopia. And after his worship in Jerusalem, after his uh, worship, his service in the temple, he did not go to Caesarea but he went home straight. <laughs> was returning. And sitting in his chariot, it's more than a taxi, it's now like a limousine. VIP, yeah. rich man. He was sitting in his chariot, Sister Daisy. And while sitting in his chariot, he did not scroll his hip beat, but he opened his Bible. <laughs> and when he opened the scripture, he opens and read Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, the prophet. Here we go. Hallelujah. This is very long, but don't worry. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Who said? The Spirit. Ano sabi ng Spirito? Go near, go near. Lapitan mo. Go near and join thyself to this child. The Spirit did not say to Philip, brother, when he will invite you. No, 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 no. The Spirit said, Go near and draw into his chariot. When the Spirit gives you instruction, just do it. Yeah. When the Spirit tells you to come to the church, just do it. Yeah. When the Spirit Christ God tells you to give and bring your tithes and offering, just do it. Yeah. When the Spirit tells you to humble yourself, just do it. Yeah. No, just do it. <laughs> so the Spirit said, Go near, go near. Join thyself. Don't wait to be invited. Just do it. Just join yourself. And Billy ran hither to him and heard him read prophet Isaiah. So he was so near because Philip was able to hear audibly the reading. Have you ever tried to read audibly? You, you, you read and then you just say, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. But there are people who will read silently. And then, Jesus is here. So I advise you, when you read the Bible, Read it now, so that you can sleep. Oh, I know, I know. Everybody shout amen. So the preacher thing that you were reading, but actually you were already sleeping. So Billy ran and went near to the eunuch and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Philip said, um, sir, a 
understand that thou what thou readest? What an insult. A VIP man? Professional man? Man, what are you doing? <laughs> Philip just went there. Did you understand what you read? And what was the reply of the eunuch? The eunuch said, How can I understand? How can I, except some man, should guide me? And you, you, and you, you don't like teachers that will guide you? I know that already, Masam. I know. Look at this, you know who is an influential VIP, man of great authority. He said, How can I, how can I understand except some man can guide me? And he desired, Philip, that he would come up and sit with him. What if Philip did not obey what the Spirit said? But as Philip knows everything, what he knows about, he explained to the people. Here we go. In verse 32. The place of the scriptures which he read was this. Isaiah 55, 53. Should I say? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. This is the part of the scripture that the eunuch read. And like a lamb down before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. This is about Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was crucified, he did not even open his mouth. Pilate said, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus was just silent. Yeah. And Pilate was so amazed. What kind of prisoner is this? Ready to be crucified and yet I asked for him question, but he didn't answer. Are you the king of the Jews? Will you fight? Did you hear the, their accusations? Jesus was just silent. Are you really a king? Jesus answered, You're the one who said, Pilate. So scared. Pilate was so scared. Because when Jesus answered, it's just so small words, few words. This is the, that description. Next verse, I think, huh? this is what the Bible said. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. Because when Jesus was judged to be crucified, it was just a cold judgment. It was not a proper judgment. There was no proper litigation. And who shall declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth? If, who will declare the generation of Jesus when he was being killed? That was the part of the scripture that the eunuch was reading. Here we go in verse 34. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, please, that's the term, please, can you explain? Of whom is speaking the prophet is of himself or some other man? The eunuch did not understand about the scripture. And he was asking Philip, uh, was the speaker, was the prophet, uh, Alluded in the story to himself, or he was speaking to some other man. Here we go, verse 35. Did Philip open his mouth? Hey, this is the key. You need to open your mouth. Yes. You need to check your death. Yeah. Just open your mouth. You need to speak. And begin at the same scripture and preach unto him. Who? Jesus! 
We are to tell of his resurrection and his return and his soon coming return. Our purpose in witnessing is to share the gospel of his death, burial, and resurrection. Our goal is not to impress others with our knowledge of theology. Yes, Hallelujah. Our goal is not to impress others with our knowledge of theology. Because many know the theories of theologians, but don't know Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. There are so many yeah. who are Wilbur's in debate. In debate and argumentation, they are very well known in the Philippines and around the world. But there are so many people who know the theories of theologians and the principles, praise God, hallelujah, and the philosophies. But sad to say, they don't know personally Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. Maybe know about the glory of heaven, but are headed for hell. What a sad story. What a scary thing. You know about the glory of heaven. You know that in heaven it's a pure streets of gold. You know in heaven about the facts and details. Hallelujah. Written by the book of Revelation. But your life is headed for hell. Our goal is to introduce people to Jesus Christ. The only way to heaven. John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Verse 7, Jesus said, hallelujah, if ye have known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him. And have seen him. Verse 12, the Bible said, Hallelujah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, Jesus said, The works that I do shall he do also. Amen. Are you a believer of that verse? Yes. Yeah. Jesus wrote, uh, resurrected the dead. Jesus heals the sick. Jesus uh, delivers evil positions. Amen. Praise God. Jesus heals every. Diseases. Jesus preached a lot of miracles. And he said, If you believe in me, the works that I do, you can do also. Yeah. And then you will just tell the pastors, Pastor, wala ka na Ha? <laughs> what kind of a Christian you are? I cannot do anything about it. Jesus said, The works that I do, you can also do. Yeah. And he said, greater works than this he do, because I go unto my father. Verse 14, the Bible said, if he shall ask anything in my name, can we, can we read that? If we ask anything in my name, I will do it. Yes. Yes. Because you are a living witness. God When you tell people that Jesus can heal, Jesus can heal diseases, Amen. and then when you lay hands on them, you need to perform. When you lay hands to them and pray, God will back up your words. Amen. Not on your own holiness, but by the power of His name, God will heal that man.
Because a real witness, the witnesses of the Lord know where to go. Because Jesus said, in Acts, hallelujah, in Jerusalem, and in Samaria, and up to the uttermost part of the earth, they know specifically where to go. And we have heard a lot of preaching about our Jerusalem. It could be our family. Our Samaria, our neighbors, our relatives. Or up to the uttermost part of the earth. Hallelujah. And here we go. The world is my palace, according to John Wesley. The same can be said on every Christian. We are to be witnesses everywhere we go as long as we live. We are to be witnesses. Praise God. We are to be witnesses who are always on call and on the job. We are to be witnesses in our homes. We are to be witnesses in our places of work. Did you hear me? Yeah. We are to be witnesses in all of our daily contacts. Yeah. Can you read it? Yeah. Who are your daily contacts? I'm not talking about the contacts in your phone. People daily that you meet in the market, in the streets. Daily contact. Every day you will meet always. Mari, tomorrow we will meet at the bus stop. I have some pancit for you. Oh yes, Mari, we will meet this because I have also Lumpia Shanghai for you. <laughs> Your daily contact, you will be a witness to them. So the legit question this morning is this. How important to you is being a witness? Because if you can just answer that question, no leader would worry to you when it comes to your day off because they will expect you will show up in the church. Because the, the moment you understand being a witness, praise God, hallelujah, you will show up here. Whether somebody will call you or follow up you, oh, I'm a witness. There's a case today, I need to attend in the court. 